Good morning. Today I want to share with you the true story of the 12 days of Christmas. Last year at our choir party, Kathy Fisher shared an article she had found about the 12 days of Christmas, and I would like to share that with you today. Few people know that behind the song is essential Christian doctrine. The song was composed by the Catholics in England during the 16th century. They were forbidden by law to practice their Catholic faith. The only legal church in England was the state church. To teach their children basic doctrines, they used songs that would not raise suspicions of non-Catholics around them, but would remind the children of their faith. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me, true love equals God, me equals every Christian, a partridge in a pear tree. The mother partridge will lure enemies away from her nest of defenseless chicks in order to protect them. She will literally risk her life for her children. The partridge in this song is a hidden reference to Christ who declared, I lay down my life for the sheep. John 10, 14 through 15. The pear tree symbolizes the cross. Jesus was crucified on a tree. Two turtle doves. The two turtle doves stand both for the two testaments in the Bible, old and new. But according to some traditions, the two turtle doves offered at Jesus' dedication in the temple when he was 12. Three French hens. French hens were very expensive and thus are symbolic of the three costly gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh given by the wise men. An alternate significance is a symbolism depicting the value of the three Christian virtues, faith, hope, and charity, or the three persons of the Trinity. Then we have four calling birds, the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Five Golden Rings First five books of the Old Testament Six Geese a Laying Eggs are an almost universal symbol of new life. The laying geese stand for the six days of creation. Seven Swans a Swimming The seven gifts of the Holy Spirit listed in Romans 12, 6 through 8. Prophesying, serving, teaching, encouraging, contributing to the needs of others, leadership, and showing mercy. Eight maids milking. The maids who milked the cows were the least of the servants in a home. Their job symbolized Christ's faithfulness even to us who don't deserve his love. The eight maids stand for the eight Beatitudes in Matthew 5, 3 through 10. Nine ladies dancing. The nine ladies remind us of the nine fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Ten Lords a Leaping Lords establish the law in their own jurisdictions. The Lords stand for the Ten Commandments. Eleven Pipers Piping the Pipers remind us of the 11 original apostles who did not forsake the faith as Judas did in betraying Christ and through whom the good news of the gospel was preached to the world. 12 Drummers Drumming The Apostles' Creed is one of the earliest confessions of faith that summarized the basic teachings of biblical Christian faith. The drummers set the pace, Reminders of what we believe by symbolizing the 12 doctrines summarized in the Apostles' Creed. Now I hope when you hear the 12 days of Christmas, instead of worrying about getting them in order or which came first, that you stop and think about some of the things we talked about today and remember that these are a hidden Christian document and we are so fortunate that today we don't have to do things like that where we live. Have a very, very Merry Christmas.